guys chicken me or love this the farm lady and you're welcome back to another amazing interesting and educated video so from the title of this video you can see we are going to be showing you how sorting is done for bigger fish size okay we are here at the pond and then we have a total of you know 5200 fish to sort and we need to sort them into sizes so as to ensure that we reduce cannibalism to the nearest minimum all right before we continue if this is your first time of coming across this channel please smash on that subscribe button turn on your post notification and give this video a thumbs up and if you've been watching the family and you're yet to subscribe come on what are you waiting for smash on that subscribe button now so without wasting much of our time let's go into the sorting proper now the first thing to note before sorting is to ensure you do not feed your fish on the day of sorting. Allow the previous feed the earth to digest properly so as to ensure you do not put them through a lot of stress. Next thing is to fill up your spear tanks with water. Now as a fish farmer, I would always advise when you're starting out, don't ever start with a tank or a pond. You're always going to need an extra tank or an extra pond so as to enable the sorting procedure easier for you, okay? So you're going to have to fill up your, you'll prefill the tanks with water a day before so that you don't have to go through any stress of filling up your tanks with water on the day of sorting next is to get enough bowls for sorting and baskets fill them up with water add um, a little quantity of salt to it so as to act as an anti-stress and then just make sure you have enough bowls with water to make the procedure very easy because we are sorting bigger fish size we are not going to be using a grader for the procedure of sorting now we've drained out the water in the ponds and we are ready to start you know scooping out the fish using a scoop net in order to enable us sort properly so here we are trying to scoop the fish out as you can see and then we transfer it into a bowl so it can be taken into the bowls with water so we keep on scooping out and scooping out until we've exhausted the fish in this particular pond and then we repeat the process for every other pond After sorting, we decided to count so as to, you know, have an idea of what we have left from the total initial stock. And here we are counting.
So we decided to take the average weight of the fish. Mind you, we stocked juveniles one month and two weeks ago. So they are currently one month and two weeks old. And their weight as of today is 200 grams. And we have some that are also weighing 250 grams. And that is amazing. So, so far so good. They are doing amazingly well, as you can see now we've come to the end of the sorting and i'm so happy with the final result so we had to split them into four different sizes right the bigger ones are down there so we have the biggest size here and this ones are around 250 grams in weight as you can see them they are so happy they are so active in fact they are doing amazingly well and then we have the next size here which is around 200 grams in weight okay that is their average weight they are doing so well as well as you can see the water is clean and then one other thing before i continue we did not feed them before starting so that is one thing you have to ensure do not feed on the day you intend sorting okay because that is just going to disrupt the whole activity so feeding should be done you know hours after at most eight hours afterwards sorted all right so we have the next batch like i said we have to sort them into four different sizes and then this is the next batch here here we have around 180 grams to 190 grams and then the last one we have 150 grams average weight of fish so this is what we have okay now the essence of doing this basically to ensure that we cut cannibalism to the barest minimum we do not want the bigger ones to you know feast on the smaller ones and then this ensures we are able to you know concentrate on these ones that are still small and give them enough feed so as to ensure they pick up in their growth okay and these fish are just one month and three weeks from stocking right so i believe they are doing amazing work if you enjoyed this video please give this video a huge thumbs up if you're yet to subscribe smash on that subscribe button now turn on your post notification drop a comment in the comment section and i'll see you guys next time bye for now